Hi, I'm John Hamilton, the mayor of the city of Bloomington, and we are here today uh, with Vic Kelson, the director of the city of Bloomington Utilities, out at the Dillman Road Wastewater Plant. And Vic, uh, this plant is about 40 years old, uh, and we're celebrating a big project that got concluded. Can you tell us what's been going on here? Yeah, the plant here is 40 years old. It was opened in 1982. Uh, uh, it's been in operation ever since. Uh, we have done a major modernization project, replaced a lot of electrical switch gear, um, uh, motor drives, pumps, uh, blowers, uh, completely uh, replaced all the control system for the aeration uh, in the treatment process. And we built a new filter building with a new disc filter, which is a, a big improvement. So altogether we spent Twenty-three and a half million dollars on this plant Ooh. over the last two years. After forty years, it After needs 40. some upgrade. So, just at the very basics, just so you know, we, a wastewater plant is what takes all the sewage, the, the wastewater from lots of places, yes. and cleans it up so that it can go safely back into a stream. Right? Exactly. But, yeah. So we, when that uh, sewer water comes uh, down here, it's got stuff in it <laughs> and uh, that stuff would cause uh, oxygen depletion in the stream if you just dump it in the stream. Which is what we used to do a Which, long time ago. A long time ago that's yeah. what we did but when you got as many people as we do you can't yeah. do that anymore. So yeah. what we do is we blow bubbles through it to do exactly what would have happened in the stream except we do it all right here. And faster. And, fa and a lot faster. Yes. Yeah. Now is it true, you've, I think you've told me this is the single largest electricity user in our county. It this is. This plant. This plant uses but it's, more electricity than anything else. Uh, even with our solar panels, we're still the biggest. And uh, we're, but this makes it more efficient, Did what you this did? This will make it more efficient. Uh, the new process control system will help reduce uh, the amount of air that we have to blow through the water. Uh, and okay. the new blowers are more efficient than the old ones were. Well, I've toured and I know we're celebrating that today. The finish, congratulations, by the way, of getting uh, $23 million, two years, uh, that's a huge thing. It manages, 15 million gallons a day, is that the capacity? Our capacity right now, our rated capacity is 15 million gallons a day. We can push more through for short periods of time if we need to. Uh -huh. If it's more than we can push, we've got a big basin up the hill that we can pump it to. So you can just hold it there? We can hold it there and then let it back into the plant. Um, we're doing, we've got one more project to complete as part of this rent modernization and expansion. And we expect to be able to uh, run 20 million gallons through the, through the plant by 2025. So there are tours happening today. There are tours. Now, I know you love people to know about this stuff. Yes. Can people come out here and see it, or how, if people want to learn about it online, or if, what, what? If if you want to learn about the the plant or any of our plants, uh, please contact Holly McLaughlin. Uh, but give her a call and and Great. set up a tour. Well, um, you know this is so fundamental to Bloomington. We we often don't think about what happens here, but we depend on it every day, 24/7. And uh, congratulations on what your team has done here. You got amazing, uh, almost 200 people at CBU uh, who helped give us clean water, clean up the water, the thermal sewers, and also manage the stormwater. And this is a part of that. Uh, if you want more information, check it out. But congratulations, it's a big day for the Dillman Road wastewater plant. And uh, good luck moving forward, Vic. Thank you. Mm -hmm.